I'm doing one of my favorite things right now. Listening to new music. That's actually a track that someone sent to me for uh, some critique. So, let me throw this out there. So I do this show, um, but I'm also part of a larger um, record label called Vivid Kind. Sometimes people will send me music to listen to so they can have my opinion on it. And if you're willing to do that, if you want my opinion on a song that you wrote, um, whatever it's worth, I mean, I'm just a dude. Uh, but I'm, I will gladly tell you what I think of your music. If you go to the um, About section on my YouTube channel and click on the uh, Business Inquiries button, you can get my email address. Email me whatever song. Um, I'll take a listen to it. That was by Savon DePaul. Cool guy. He comments on my videos frequently. I'm sure you guys have seen him. I'm, yeah, I'm not sure if he's released anything on social media yet, but this, these are some tracks that he sent me, and they're, they're good stuff. I'm enjoying this so far. I, that stupid video is still getting views. Y'all need to quit. <laughs> People like, make part two, where's part two? And I'm like, it's just, it was a joke. It's just a joke. I mean, of course I'm gonna make part two. You know, if you, if you butter me up enough, of course I'm gonna do it. It's a, that's not the point of the channel, it, whatever. I, you know what, any press is good press. And I gained some subscribers uh, based on that video. So if you're new to the channel, um, hey, my name is Garden Sound. This is Garden Sound 365. I upload a show every day. Um, it's half vlog and half music. This is my vlog. If you want to listen to the music that I wrote today, click below in the description. Um, that first link is a playlist that has all the music I've written so far in this series. Basically, I'm on a mission to release one piece of music every day for a year. Um, one original piece of music every day for a year and I have done 67 so far and today will be 68. Started on August 20th 2016 and we'll finish up on August the 19th 2017. Whatever happens between now and then happens but my my true and only goal is to make sure that I get all these pieces of music done. I'm hoping that this idea this project catches on and some people get interested and subscribe to the channel um, so I can get more views and really make it a full-time thing. Um, it'll be beneficial for you all and it'll be beneficial for me because if this is providing income for me, I don't have to spend my time doing anything else. Um, and I can focus more uh, closely on these videos. I'm not saying I have them all mapped out in my head, but I know I can do this. I, I won't stop. I will actually write 365 unique pieces of music. Um, and, uh, and I'll be just out there on the internet. These pieces of music are free for other content creators to use under Creative Commons Attribution 3.0. If you're a creator and you see uh, some of those pieces of music in my playlist and you like them and you want to use them in your own content, go ahead. Just make sure that you credit me um, in the video and the description of your video. Oh boy. I have um, a song by Run the Jewels and DJ Shadow stuck in my head called Don't Speak um, or Nobody Speak. Nobody Speak. It sounds like this. Ah, it's such a great beat. Um, but basically, I've got that kind of a beat stuck in my head, so I'm going to produce a, uh, uh, I'm going to call this a New York style hip hop beat. Here we go. We're going to add five minutes to this because that's how long I've been working. Now, we've got to use all real instruments. On top of this. <laughs> okay, upright bass. Let's do it. really close to the same stuff that Shadow has in his song, so I know I'm going a bit copy cat here, but that's the point. It's 
So I've got this, I want to put an arpeggiator, which is a MIDI effect in Ableton, um, on this track. <laughs> but I want it to be a different instrument, so I want to go to synth. I know I'm using my Roland synthesizer a lot lately, but it's still new to me, and I can't get enough of it. It sounds fantastic. That's it right there. Um, so right now these parts sound a bit disjointed if you listen to them closely. You know what would make that sound tighter is if we put both those instruments in the same room so it sounded like they really are and being recorded at the same time. And to do that, what you do is you insert a, uh, a return track. This one's called Concert Hall, and it's just a little bit of reverb. Watch the mouse here. All right, it's a little bit of reverb. And we're just going to ever so slightly turn up the send on both the bass and the brass and they're all of a sudden going to sound like they're in the same room. Let's listen again. new beats in the description below. See you tomorrow.